we all have playlists. We have playlists for when we're working out, when we're driving our car, when we're in the shower. And a lot of us have, you know, the current hits, you know, pop songs, rap, whatever. I like to listen to classical music. For example, Dvorak's Ninth Symphony. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Uh, there's a lot of musical notes, a lot of extraneous kind of ties, lots of things. But to me, this all makes sense. You can break this down into just simple, easy to understand aspects of music, and one of those are scales. Scales are the building block for all of music. This is the E flat scale. It starts on the same note and ends on the same note, E flat. And what's important about scales is they build a more complex aspect of music, which are chords. Now chords are important because these really give the music body. They add two notes on top of the original note, so you can see that the one chord is an E flat chord and has E flat, G, and B flat. And what I started to figure out was that chords and life and music all kind of relate to each other. Life and music have a lot of similarities, and one of those is that we all have fundamental building blocks. For me, it's my relationship and my family. For you, it could be anything from a job to your spirituality. But we need these things to become, to have us become whole. I'm a finance major. I don't get to use a lot of my musical knowledge that I picked up in high school and middle school in my profession. But for me, music really transcends my degree. And I started taking what I learned in music and applying it to every aspect of my life. Now, we all have these chords, but life is not just one individual thing. We have to look at everything holistically for it all to make sense. And in music, it's the same way. In music, there's something called chord progressions, which are a series of chords played in sequence. And what I want you to do is, I have a set of chord progressions here, and I want you to listen to each chord individually, but then think about how it affects the whole, how they all sound together. So individually, they each sound nice, but when you put it together as a whole, they add new meaning to each other. And it's the same way in, in life. You know, you could have one building block that's your family, but you put that together with a relationship or with a job and you start to become more of just yourself. Chord progressions are often seen as a formula, as a formula for making good music. There's a Wikipedia page with hundreds of songs that build on this formula of one chord progression. And it's the same chord progression that I just played. One of the songs on there is Ed Sheeran's Perfect. And I want you to think back to the chords you just heard and see if you can hear those chords within the song. If you can't, don't worry. If you didn't hear the chords, there's nothing wrong with your hearing. It takes a long time to be able to just hear individual things within music when there's a lot of other stuff going on. So I have those same chords, the, just the piano, and I want you to listen to them again, and I want you to now think back to the song. See if you can hear perfect through the chords. So 
like I said, I'm a finance major. I don't often get to use the musical knowledge that I picked up in middle school and high school in my profession. However, I started to apply this into my life. And a lot of the pillars that I mentioned are temporary things. Things like a job, a family, you know, family members could pass away, you could lose a job. And what's important is, is that music gives an answer for this, and it's called chord substitution. Now you can see here that the four chord and the six chord have two of the same notes. One of them, only one note is different between them. So in music, you can substitute them. They won't entirely sound the same, but they still serve that purpose. And in life, it's the same thing. You could lose your job. However, you're gonna go find another job that might have a different salary, different benefits, and maybe different responsibilities, but it still serves that purpose for you of that pillar and making you whole. Now, I encourage you today to find those chords within your life. Find those pillars that make you, you. Start to look at yourself more holistically. What makes me, me? And then start to appreciate the musicality of your life and how your song is played within the world. And through focusing on those chords, those little problems will start to work themselves out and you can really start to appreciate how your song fits. Thank you.